Halloween in 2014 marked a special occasion for Maryland resident Ryan Bowen, as he proudly presented a one-of-a-kind costume for his six-month-old son, Geraint. This costume was no ordinary store-bought Halloween outfit. Ryan had invested years of effort into creating the ultimate robot-themed costume, ensuring that his toddler would stand out and have a memorable Halloween experience. Throughout history, people have enjoyed the tradition of dressing up for Halloween. Historians believe that ancient pagan communities donned costumes or disguises as they went from house to house, celebrating the spiritual world and honoring the departed souls. These costumes were believed to ward off spirits, fairies, and the souls of the deceased during the late October festivities. In modern times, Halloween costumes have evolved beyond the spooky and supernatural. Participants often dress up as superheroes, celebrities, or fairy princesses, reflecting a broader range of inspirations. Since the 19th century, when the first modern Halloween costumes gained mass media attention, this tradition has grown into a significant industry. In 2013, the National Retail Federation reported that Americans spent approximately $2.6 billion on Halloween costumes for people of all ages, with over $300 million allocated to pet costumes. Despite the convenience of store-bought costumes, many individuals prefer the creativity and personal touch of crafting their own Halloween disguises. In 2014, Ryan Bowen was among these creative minds in Rockville, Maryland. As a new father, he was determined to craft a special DIY costume for his infant son, Geraint. Ryan, 28 at the time, resided in Rockville with his 27-year-old wife, Cassandra, and their six-month-old son, Geraint. Ryan's dream of creating the perfect Halloween costume for children had been brooding since before Geraint's arrival. He envisioned a costume inspired by a menacing character from his own childhood, the Sunders, killer robots featured in the Mech Warrior video game franchise developed by Microsoft in 1989. Ryan had enjoyed playing Mech Warrior during his high school years, and the image of the Sunders had stayed with him over time. Designing a costume based on the massive 90-ton battle robots presented a daunting challenge. However, when Ryan learned he was going to be a father, he resolved to turn his ambitious dream into reality. His vision included a more family-friendly version of the formidable Mech Warrior Sunder. With a few months left before Durant's arrival, Ryan had already outlined his costume plans. As baby-related items continued to arrive, the couple accumulated a pile of cardboard boxes, an unexpected source of materials for the Sunder costume. Along with acquiring other necessary supplies, Ryan was ready to embark on his creative journey. Armed with his meticulously crafted blueprints, he began the step-by-step -step process of bringing his robotic Sunder costume to life. Slowly but surely, the costume began to take shape. Ryan embarked on his ambitious project by constructing a PVC tube frame that would envelop his body. He skillfully covered this plastic structure with securely affixed, pre-painted cardboard, meticulously shaping the central features. To achieve a convincing three-dimensional appearance, Ryan employed foam board for additional vital details. For flexibility and durability, Ryan used Velcro fastenings for the joints of the robot body. Once the main body was complete, he used Velcro to attach the Sunder's head and other essential components. However, the costume was not yet finished. It required functioning limbs to reach completion. To achieve this, Ryan suspended cardboard leg pieces from a belt hidden beneath the robot body. He then slid his arms into previously prepared sets of fake blasters, which he also attached with Velcro. Lastly, Ryan placed the Sunder's boxy feet over his own shoes filling any gaps with toilet paper rolls. With the project nearly finished, Ryan's creative creation was an impressive sight to behold, standing seven feet tall. However, it was clear that this elaborate Sunder costume was too large for a six-month-old child. To address this, Ryan turned to YouTube to reveal how Durant would fit into the costume. In a video titled, Mech Daddy 2014, which Ryan uploaded in late October of that year, the spectacular Mech Daddy made its dramatic entrance. As the mighty Mech Warrior stomped around the Bowen's backyard, 
Geraint could be seen comfortably seated in a pouch at the front. The little munchkin played the role of the mech's daddy's driver, enjoying the ride while his dad's cardboard creation roamed menacingly among the trees and shrubs. The video became an internet sensation, garnering over a million and a half views since its release in October 2014. Additionally, Cassandra shared pictures of the DIY Sunder on Inger, attracting another 600,000 social media users. The response to both the video and the images was overwhelmingly positive, with thousands of likes on YouTube and Inger. Viewers praised Ryan for his extraordinary dedication to making his son's first Halloween memorable. Comments on YouTube and Inger included accolades such as Dad of the Year. I think so. And, I have to admit, that's a pretty cool costume. The heartfelt efforts of this dedicated dad did not go unnoticed, and his creation was met with admiration and applause. However, the person who appreciated Ryan's colossal efforts the most was closer to home. Cassandra was overwhelmed with pride and joy upon seeing her son's Halloween costume, expressing her admiration by saying, Ryan did a wonderful job, and I am so proud of him. It looks amazing and Durant loves it.